Hey, it's Aran here. In this tutorial, I'm going to share with you how to convert your Canva creation, Canva website, or Canva mocha, and turn it into a website in system.io. Now, I have done a over the shoulder tutorial, which I'll share with you in a second, where I've taken someone else's squeeze page mockup on Canva and I rebuilt it on system. That's what you have to do. There's no magic button. You actually have to rebuild on system. However, it's actually a really good practice for you to actually design your website, design your landing page on Canva the way you want it, because it's a lot easier easier to kind of play around and fiddle with it until you have it the way you like it. And then once you have that visual, you can either build it up on system yourself or turn it over to an expert to build it for you because they don't have to guess what it is you want to get done. So this process that I'm about to show you is really good if you are trying to use system.io for the first time yourself and you are don't want to get lost in the features. But it's also good if you actually want to hire somebody who can actually build it for you because it will save a tremendous amount of time by you giving them a Canva creation so that you can tell them, hey, build exactly what you see on my Canva page. So I'm going to share my screen and show you how it's done. And I'm sure that you might have some questions by the end of it. So if you do, please leave any questions to do with this video and how to do it, things along these lines. And I welcome any questions you have. So I'm going to go ahead and share my screen and show you how it's done to convert your Canva creation over to a system IO website or landing page. We're going to convert this landing page, which was created on Canva, and we're going to set it up in system IO. Now, in this case, we're going to use a squeeze page. So I'm going to call this Canva test. We're going to call this, in my case, I'm just going to go with uh, custom, although you typically would do build an audience. But in my case, just because I'm doing a demonstration, I like to just go with blank so you can see the entire steps. Now that I've got the funnel created, I'm going to click into it. I've got no pages here. I'm going to click on create step. I'm going to click here and Canva landing page test. And then I'm going to click here, click on squeeze page, click on save. And then I'm going to click on select on any of the templates. Doesn't really matter right now. Click on edit page. And then I'm going to delete everything that you see right here just for purposes of demonstration. So I'm going to go here to the settings, delete the background as well. Now it's a completely blank page. Now you see here for this Canva, there's a few things that you need to be aware of in terms of elements. There is a headline, there is the text, there is another kind of sub headline call to action. There's the actual call to action button. And then there is this thing, this thing, this thing. This stuff is tricky to move to Canva. So what you're going to have to do is you're going to need to duplicate what's here because you want to still not lose any of the text. We're going to delete all this stuff. So we're going to delete this, 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 this. And then we're going to now export this particular background. So I'm going to click on download and choose just page number two. Click on done. Download. While it does that, let's grab the headline. I'm going to click into here, copy, go back to here, replace this headline. Then we're going to put text right under it. This, replace that like so. Then we're going to do like the person had this numbered. So I'm going to do one, two, four, five, six, and seven. Now, up to 365, copy that, go back here another text like so don't worry i know this doesn't look good uh yet but bear with me here and then we got the click here button then we'll put a button there as well like so and then we're going to do see this link this is the url that this person has so we're going to copy it i'm going to open url in this case put it here open in a new window could also be open in the same window depending on what what uh what they want and she just says click here i'm just modeling it pretty much exactly the way she has it now, in terms of the colors and all that, let's grab, make this color, see what this color is. It's this one. Click here, click here, copy. And then we're going to see if we can make this color the same. Like so, and remove this background on the sides and make this also hard shadow. And now we're going to do a couple of things. First of all, you'll notice that this section is content width is full page. So we're going to make this small. Now we're going to try extra small. Now it's going to be way more the way they had it basically. So of course this part, we're going to need to space these out better. So we're going to do 44 like that. So it kind of spaces everything in one go. And then we're also going to put this on the right. So it's like this, this one we're going to make It's bold. Now the last piece is we're going to go to settings. We're going to background image, select file, and we're going to grab the file that we downloaded. 
and we're going to click on insert. Now, instead of repeat, we're going to do full center like so. And we can also do full center width like that, basically. Okay. So this is what this looks like. Now, this button now doesn't really look, uh, doesn't really stand out. So there's a couple of things we can do. Number one, we could just change the color. That's option number one. Um, option number two, we can actually style it a little bit like that. So it's actually got a bit of rounding like so something like that, or like white around it. So you, you've got different options that you can actually customize, change the text color to make, make it black and things along these lines. So this is just kind of options that you can do. Uh, in this case, I'll probably revert back to the client to tell me what they would prefer. Okay. But this one is pretty obvious that it is a button still. And also you can customize it. So you can see after the text, you can put something like a link or, um, like so, and then put this like so, so it's kind of clear, but it's going to open and you can also customize the, the rounded section. So you see the button, it actually becomes more like a pill basically. So that's another variation of the same type of setup basically. Okay. You've got this make it happen thing. And that's something that's going to have to be done totally separately. And what that means is that you're going to need to open up a brand new Canva thing. And then you're going to need to create, let's say a custom, this custom size. Let's make it say 40 by 40, create design. And then you're going to need to paste this thing right here, like so. And then I need to center it, share, download, make it transparent, download. And now what we can do instead of having the button right next to it, we can actually put two columns, put a button here. We're going to change some things here because now it doesn't look very good, but we'll, we'll adjust that in a second, like so. Then we're going to put an image right inside this part. You're going to click here, click on this select file. You will now see this design, click on enter, paste it here. See the make it happen thing and then make it this way. Now you see, it doesn't look very good at all, right? That's because this file size is way, 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 way too small. So what we're going to do is we're going to need to, when we download it, we're going to need to make it three times bigger, basically three and a half times bigger. So it looks better. We're going to make it transparent again. And now we're going to need to download this. We're going to remove this click to upload a new one, select file, go to this part, open. Here it is. Now this looks way better. Let's make this 100. Okay. Now still, if this doesn't, still doesn't look good, we could still increase the size of it as well. You saw how I did it. So you could just do it again yourself if you wish. And then we're going to make this just a little bit smaller like so. And now we've got pretty much the page, the way that we wanted to have it basically. Obviously some typos here. Um, I think like this one tells all secrets, things like that. That's something f uh, that can be obviously improved. Now you'll notice that this part right here, you'll notice that this spacing is basically spacing every single sentence. Okay. Now what if I don't want to space every single sentence because this is just one longer sentence, right? So what you want to do is you want to make this again, say uh, 24, which is like this, and then you're just going to space it out this way. Okay. So that's the other option on how to do that. And then give it a little space here. Now that you've done all of that, again, you have the option on um, spacing the top. So it's got a bit more thing at the top, right? So like, so click on save. And then on the button, you have other options as well in terms of doing different things. So you can make it, so yes, it's the same page. You can also make it so it's a different one. So in this case, we'll go with Open Sans and make it so it's bold. So it's a little bit more stand out, stand out basically. Now the font that uh, they were using, if you have a look, in this case, it is Marie Kate. I'm not sure if that's actually available in system. So let's click here, click on search. If it's a Google font, then it will be available. So we're just going to do a search. Mary Kate doesn't look like it's available. Okay. So obviously the client can have a look and see if they prefer something else. Um, this font like so with the settings can be changed right here and it will change everything. So you could do it like so, or um, I think something that's similar to this is a little bit like Playfair, Playfair display. It's a little bit similar. So we're just going to go with that. Just, um, yeah, let's just go with Playfair display and see um, how that looks basically kind of similar, right? All right. So that's that. That's your page. Of course, you can go to the bottom of the page and remove the system IO. If you are on the paid account as well, click on save changes. Now I'm going to now take this and share this with uh, my clients so they can actually use this and be able to, um, you know, use it in their funnels and stuff like that. Now to be able to share this, I'm simply going to click on the section, click on save, click on Canva landing page template share. I'm going to label this a section. 
and create. And then all she has to do is basically click on that link that I've just created and she'll be able to use it basically. So there you go. If you get value from this tutorial and you want to get this type of thing set up as well with Canva, uh, let us know. Hey, it's around here again. Thank you so much for watching this video. Hope you got value from this. Just so you know, in case you wanted to go through this process and hire my team to build your website for you, that is something that is available. All you got to do is comment the word below and say the word website. And then me or my team will then reply, reach out and let you know what we need to do. Basically, what I'm going to need from you is to give me your Canva creation so I can see how big or small it is. And then I can give you a quote based on that. Since you will have designed the whole thing on Canva already, just so you know, this uh, price is going to be in the few hundreds of dollars, not over a thousand dollars. So it's going to be somewhere in the hundreds of dollars range, depending on how big it is and how or how small it is, right? So if it's just a simple landing page, it could be actually a lot cheaper. It could even be under a hundred dollars. So it just depends. So if you're not sure, you're wondering how much it's going to cost, don't worry about it. If you, if you can't afford it, it's a really simple process that me and my team can help you. Obviously, it's a massive page, then yeah, it's going to be more expensive. But if it's a small page like the one you just uh, like I just, when I just showed you, it's going to be under $100. So it might save you a lot of time. And uh, yeah, that's about it. So go ahead and leave a comment below the word website if you want me and my team to help you. And definitely, no matter what, I really recommend you um, create your landing page funnel, things like that on a Google Doc or Canva, just because you're going to end up outlining what you want first and then going to system. It's just going to be a lot easier to have something to reference to. So that's about it. Hope you find this video uh, helpful. If you did, please comment with the word value and any other questions leave them below and i'll be sure to answer you thanks a lot for watching somewhere around here i'll show you the playlist of system.io so you can see additional tutorials with system.io as well and that, that's about it thanks a lot speak to you soon